Hey church, hope you're having a great day so far. The weather is sunny in Chester and I hope it's sunny wherever you are. In fact, I prophesy it right now that summer is coming in Jesus name. Welcome to another installment of our audacious devotions and I want to read really quickly today from Genesis 19 verse 29 which says this. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. Have you ever had a time where you've had somebody that's been contending for you? I remember just back at Easter when we were stepping out in faith to have an Easter weekend here in Chester that we had never had before on a new scale and a new level. We had done four youth mission projects across the city a Good Friday community day at the football club, two Easter services on the Sunday and a big youth night on the Friday night. We had added and taken it to another level. And on the back of that weekend, we had 63 decisions for Jesus. It was unbelievable. But I remember in the lead up to the weekend, we had lots of relationships, friendships, church, people in our world and in our lives texting us, encouraging us, praying for us. And we literally felt the weight of the faith and the prayers of the people and the church. We had people that were contending for us. And I want to suggest today, church, in the same manner, you need to have people that are contending for you and you need to be contending for somebody. In Abraham's life, just before this moment, he was contending all throughout Genesis 18 for law and for Sodom, contending, pleading, petitioning God. And what had happened was this, was Abraham moved God's heart, which in turn moved God's hand. And what you do when you're contending for somebody is you're praying, pleading, petitioning on their behalf to God to move God's heart and then move God's hand. And you need those same relationships in your life, people who are contending for you. I want to suggest today that in the course of this next week, couple of weeks, that you position some people in your life intentionally that are going to contend for you and you in turn can contend for them. They're some of the right relationships that we all need in our world and in our life. And as we stepped out in faith here in Chester, we felt the weight of the right relationships and people contending for us. And in the same way as you step out and all that God has for you, your family, your workplace and your world, you need people contending for you. So my challenge for you today is this church, is be a contender and line up some people in your world and in your life to be a contender for you. God, I pray right now for each and every person listening and watching to this video, I pray that this week you would highlight and illuminate the right relationships in our world that we can contend for and the right people we can line up to be those that contend for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Church today, be a contender and line up some people to contend for you. Have a brilliant day and we'll catch you really soon.